We're going to switch into real estate this morning. Now, selling a home is a complicated process, no matter how good the real estate market may or may not be. And whether you're a first time seller or not, you most likely have some questions that you'd like some answers to. How much paperwork do I need to fill out? How can I get the best price for my house? What's closing? We're going to give you the answers to those questions and more this morning. Monica, thank you for being back on the show today. Thank you for having me, Jenna. Hi, everybody. All right, Monica, I am a first time seller, let's say. What is the first step that I need to do? Okay, first of all, you need to call me at 305-776-2025. I will pre-qualify you with a few questions. Simple questions like, when, when do you want to sell? Are you ready to leave in the event of a sale? Do you own a mortgage on the house? Things like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll call you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll do the simple questions. And then what's the next step, Monica? Then I will try to step most likely the same day. I will try to step by at your property. Most likely it's going to be a home in Key West. Or somewhere close. Mm -hmm. So I'll step by, I, I'll run through the house quickly. It's going to take you maybe like five minutes. Um, and then I will go back to the office. I will try to send you a pre-qualification package. In this package, you will find a lot of information about the selling process itself, the market stats, uh, just so you get an idea how the market looks like today. Mm -hmm. What are some of the most common questions that you get right now during this time, Monica? Most common questions are, can I sell my house? How, how soon can I sell it? Mm -hmm. How much money can I get out of it? Um, those are like the most common questions. Mm -hmm. And I know that you've mentioned before on the show that this is a good time to sell right now because the market is good. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, it's a great time to sell the season. The selling season has just started. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of interest in town, lots of cash buyers. People are looking. Mm -hmm. The interest rates are low. So, you know, I mean, these are just awesome, awesome things. Mm -hmm. So the good thing about Key West is that if you're motivated and you want to sell your house, if you price it right and a good marketing uh, aggressive agent, you will get it done. Mm -hmm. So you do have this because in many parts of the U.S. it's just, you know, the inventory is so high, it's mm -hmm. just, just don't get it done. Mm -hmm. But so we do get it done for you. Mm -hmm. You get it done. And Monica, now once, we, once you're at the house, we go through that steps, where, can, where do we begin next? Mm -hmm. We could get everything done right then and there, mm -hmm. but usually, uh, I mean, ideally, we would get together after you get the package. Mm -hmm. uh, we could do it right away then, too. Um, and so once we schedule the initial appointment, which will take you about 45 minutes, mm -hmm. this is when everything and all the good things happen. Mm -hmm. So I will prepare a market analysis for you, a comparative market analysis. Mm -hmm. This will help us determine the listing price. Mm -hmm. um, in, in this analysis, we'll look at recent sales. Most of the time, we go back uh, up to six months. Uh, and then we look at, at, the, at the sales, uh, which are listed right now. And then we kind of get a good idea what your home will sell for. Mm -hmm. So once we agree on the listing price, um, we will sign the contract. We will sign the disclosures. There's a bunch of other disclosures we need to go through. And then we will speak about the marketing. Do you normally? set the value up a little bit higher at the beginning, Monica? Um, well, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> it really depends on the client. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you want, we want to get the house sold within 60 days. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to set the price where it will sell. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but you know, I mean, sellers uh, just want always the best price out of it. Mm -hmm. and, our, you, and you want to give it a little bit of negotiation space as well. Mm -hmm. So our sales close about 90% of the initial listing price. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to go maybe 10% higher than what, what it will sell for. Mm -hmm. So it really depends. I mean, if, if, if you want to get out of town tomorrow, mm -hmm. you should maybe price it a little lower. Right, right, right. Um, if you have the patience and you have the time, then you can set it a little bit higher, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But you should really listen to your realtor and, uh, and I mean, and take the advice where it should be listed mm -hmm. so it sells. You, can't, you don't want to have your home listed. You want to sell it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have the listing now set. Monica, w what do we do now? Is it just a waiting game, or is there stuff that needs to be done during no, this No, then this is when my job starts. So this mm -hmm. is the exciting stuff happens now. Mm -hmm. So I have all the disclosures signed. Um, I'm committed to sell your house. The next step will be I will go back to the office. I will put all the information into our uh, MLS, which is the multiple listing service. That way, the listing will be available to all the other realtors in town. Um, and then I will put a just 
uh, for sale sign in front of your house. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to get leads as well. Many buyers will call you uh, because they saw the sign. So mm -hmm. it's very, very important that you do have one in front of your house. Mm -hmm. um, and then, no, oh my God. So then we work basically every day on prospecting mm -hmm. for new buyers, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and this includes just so many, many things, which people are just not aware of, and people think we get paid for nothing, but right. it's actually not that. <laughs> we spend hours, you know, prospecting. Uh, we spend um, money on the advertisement. We put, we put ads in papers. We do send out just listed postcards. There's other advertisement billboards you can do. This is the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Well, I like to speak about my listings sometimes. And then basically, whoever you meet, uh, whoever you can talk to, I mean, that, that, that's your job. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to find a buyer for the house. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you really do get busy then, so busy during this time, Monica. And what happens now? Let's say that someone buys the house. You make the sale. What's next? Okay, well, I will try to find a buyer first. Mm -hmm. and then we will sign and hopefully agree on the contract and mm -hmm. get it signed. Mm -hmm. um, and then, okay, this, so this is another, maybe another show we need to mm -hmm. talk about what happens from signing the contract until the closing. Because everything can go just fine or everything could still go wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, you know, you have, you have to know what you're doing mm -hmm. to get it done. But so basically, let's assume everything goes fine. Mm -hmm. We do have the contract. Uh, it's going, if it's cash, it could close very, very, very soon. If mm -hmm. it's financing, it will be maybe about 30 days at least to close. And then we have the closing day, mm -hmm. and everybody gets paid. Everybody gets paid, so it's I'm a great happy. day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, Monica. No, you answered a lot of questions because I'm, I'm clueless about it, and I'm sure there's other people who are first-time sellers who would be clueless too. If you want more information on Monica, you can email her on the bottom of the screen or give her a call by calling the number you see on the screen. Thanks, Monica. I will sell your house. You will sell my house. <laughs> I know you will. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be right back after this. Stay with me.